Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to Blunt Sagittarius. My name is Robin, and Sajay, today we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style reading. Let's see what you need to know right now. Let's talk about you. Let's see what messages Spirit Guides want to pass along. Let's see what up with the Sagittarius Collective. Spirit Guides, the fates. Oh, baby. Well, ah, oh, yeah, look at this. I'm flipping things all over. But let's get the card up right here. Got Butterfingers. This is the fates. This is your destiny. Um, let's see what this is all about, but <laughs> this is a <laughs> fucking cards flying everywhere. What's going on, Sag? What is this? The Ace of Swords in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, and oh, you might have things like felt like things were out of control before. Okay, let's see what's going on. Cards are flying out. I got Butterfingers. The spirit guides are excited to get into the reading. Let's talk about you. Nine of Pentacles is what you need to know right now. All right. Sagi, for those of you who are interested, I am doing. <laughs> I can't even get my spew out. Look at this. You're the damn empress. That's how it's going to affect you. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this independence here. But if you are interested in a personal reading, I am open. So if you want one, the link is in the description box below. This looks like a really good what you need to know right now reading here, Sajay. Let's see what you need to know right now. We got the Seven of Pentacles as your advice or what you need to hear. And the Four of Wands is your overall energy, vibe, and theme. You be celebrating. You be dancing in the street. You be doing the jig. You getting jiggy with it. All right. Nine of Pentacles here for Sajay. What do they need to know right now? The Nine of Pentacles is a very independent energy. It's very abundant, very happy. Um, it's, you know, very wise. We got the owl. What do we got here? These flew out upside down. So what are they saying here? Oh, King of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Swords in reverse. Justice in reverse. And the Tower in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. Well, damn. So you might have come across here. The Nine of Pentacles here, I guess, I feel... It's letting go of something from the past. It might have been a relationship here, Saj. It could have been a business, could have been a family, could have been a friend. I just feel like you've let go of something. I mean, it could even just be relying or depending on somebody else. Um, it has to do with this King of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Something wasn't fair, something wasn't right. This person, this situation wasn't doing you good. Could have been a boss, could have been a lover, could have been a friend, could have been a family member. Could have been anything. Take it how it goes with you. But somebody wasn't treating you properly. Um, and, you know... Well, the fact is we can sit there and, and, and wallow in that and say, oh, this motherfucker's not treating me right. I'm a victim. Or you can just say, fuck this motherfucker. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm the Nine of Pentacles, baby. Turn that negative into a positive. You're letting go of this. But it may have been very difficult because the tower is in reverse. So the tower in reverse is having a difficult time letting go of old stories. It's being stuck in an old pattern, an old cycle, an old energy. And with this Two of Pentacles and we got that Nine of Swords again, this is about, this is my Carl Young card, baby. So first of all, this person, this job, this experience, whatever that was, it was destiny. They were meant to teach you something. And that's what Carl Jung teaches us. And that's why I call this Two of Pentacles my Carl Jung card, because it represents the ebbs and flows of life. It represents creating the balances within herself, turning negative into positive, obstacles into blessings. Thank you to this person for showing you what you needed to show in order to become, that's right, the motherfucking Empress. We're not just born the Empress, right, Saj? The Empress is created through a life's trap. I just saw the Ten of Pentacles. I did. There's the Five of Cups. So we'll see what this Five of Cups is. But this, again, I feel like the Five of Cups goes with that. Is it's just an energy of letting go of this negative experience. You can let it affect you or you can turn it into a positive. And that's what you've done here is the fates. Destiny trusted your intuition to allow you to go. How this independence, this Nine of Pentacles, and let's be reminded too. You know, those experiences make us wiser, smarter, right? But the Nine of Pentacles, it might have even created your spiritual evolution or growth because the Nine of Pentacles is a balance of spiritual and material. That's what creates that independence, that abundance, that happiness within ourselves. Um, so the Empress is how it's going to affect you. Uh, <laughs> you're becoming the Empress. This is the world in your hands. The world is your oyster. But this is abundance. This is wealth. This is comfort. Um, what else do you want to say about this Empress energy? It's just putting you into a really strong power here. You're the queen, baby. You're no longer a pawn. You're the queen on that chessboard, Sajay, in this game of life. What do you want to say about the Empress? Six of Wands. That's kind of upside down, isn't it? The You're releasing the devil. <laughs> this is Capricorn energy, but this is that King of Pentacles in reverse. You've let this go. So you just come to the realization of just letting go of people's situations that don't serve you. Um, I just feel you're letting go of something here, Sag. It was destiny. It was fated. This is where you're supposed to be. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And what you need to know right now is that experience turned you into the empress. It's going to bring comfort and abundance in your life. Now, the seven of pentacles is what um, the advice you need to hear. Um, 
And Seven of Pentacles is a card of investment. It's a card of continuing to go. You know, I'm being drawn to his chi. And see his little chi here? <laughs> He's using his chi in order to grow. Um, so maybe you're coming into that universal intelligence within yourself, or you're just understanding that really happiness and growth starts within yourself. I feel like you're investing in you, Saji. You're creating those seeds within you, creating that happiness, abundance, satisfaction, all that shiznik with you, and just letting go of negative energies. What else do you want to say about the Seven of Pentacles energy here for Sag? What are, yeah. Yeah, this is reinforcing what I was saying, baby. All right, all right, what else? Yeah, woo -hoo. Damn, Sag, Jay, you are the High Priestess and the Empress. This is a kind of an amazing energy within yourself. The High Priestess is mastering the spiritual element, the, the energies, seeing behind the veil, seeing the truth behind situations. And the Empress is mastering the material realm, creating that abundance, that comfort, that stability. The strength is, first of all, having the courage to put yourself first, to do what's best for you. Second of all, it's representing the divine being and the pure energy that comes from within. When you're a pure heart, when you're pure, um, pure heart, pure thought, someone that just has pure intentions, there are people that will take advantage of that energy. There are people that want to flock to you like energy vampires. Ooh, look at Sajin. They're pure. They have good energy. I want it. And you come across those energy and vampires in your life. And this is just having the strength and the courage to turn those into positives, to let go of that negative energy, and just to see that it's a reflection of them. It's not a reflection of you. It propelled you into the Empress and the High Priestess mode here, Sajay. So, and there's the moon. So it's being thankful to them for, for treating you that way or for this experience because, damn, this is a really positive energy. You're moving into a beautiful time in your life here. A time where you're investing in yourself and that investment is paying off. So, Sajay, that's what you need to know right now. Independence is yours. Abundance is yours. Comfort is yours. Um, basically, you're turning into the Empress here through that experience. And you are always destined to become that. So, let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot, baby. We'll see what they want to say. Well, actually, we're going to get your potential outcome. <laughs> um, so, Spirit Guides, what does Sagittarius need to surrender to? Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to be open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and you can succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So you, you manifest in life what you believe you deserve, baby. You're the Knight of Pentacles. You're the Empress. You're the High Priestess. We got the Ten of Pentacles. We got the Knight. Look at all these motherfucking Pentacles everywhere. So we got money, money, money. But let's just, you know, it's not always money. I'm just... I'm just, I'm just being a Saji. <laughs> it's just abundance and happiness. That's different for all of us. What is the lesson here for Saji? Gratitude. Yeah, exactly. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents and the people who did you wrong because they turned you into the empress. <laughs> damn straight, damn straight. And now they're going to watch you shine, baby. All right, energy oracle message for this. Yeah, the thinking woman. Okay, okay. Whoa, holy, we got a few here. All right, let's talk about this, Saj. We got the thinking woman. We got all tied up. Ah, we got the garden in the gate. We got the second chakra. We got financial constraints. And we got envy. <laughs> so for some of you, um, where I was just talking about money, 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 some of you may have been struggling here financially. I and mean, then that's all coming to an end for a shizzle. So if that story applies to you, then definitely, you know, things are progressing well career, business-wise for you. Let's just note we have three, 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 three. So you might be seeing threes. You might have a big, strong connection to threes. Um, this is really about keeping the eye on the prize. So first of all, our thoughts can betray us and our thought can keep us stuck. You might have had decisions. You might have had whatever was happening. I feel like you were thinking a lot about it, maybe dwelling on it, maybe focusing on it, maybe wondering what the reason was, what's the lesson, why is this happening? Why did I go through this? What the fuck's going on here? Why are people acting this way? They be acting crazy. Uh, but whatever that energy is, it's just coming to the realization that our thoughts can keep us stuck. They can keep us in analysis paralysis. They can prevent us from taking the next step, taking that leap of faith. It's let going and transforming your thoughts into actions. Garden in the gate. Sajay, this is all about taking calculated risks. The universe may have been putting you outside your comfort zone. So you might have been going through some shiznik here. And that's when we grow. That's when we evolve. That's when we develop into the best version of ourselves. So with the garden in the gate, the message is you may have been staying or in a situation or even thought pattern of comfort, loyal, familiarity, whatever that energy is. And it's just about taking this key of knowledge, walking through that gate, following your heart and taking a calculated risk. Now we have the second chakra here. So it's a message to maybe do some guided meditation, some binaural beats, just balance those meridian points and those chakra points within yourself. It makes it easier 
um, to make the best decisions because you're feeling balanced. You're not off kilter in any way, shape or form. We already talked about that. Now, if this isn't about business, if this is about love, the door to love might have been closed. It could have been self-love, Sag, but it just could have been love in general. And it just represents those things changing, those things coming to an end. But as with the envy, we have to look at things with a positive light. When we look at things from a negative energy or when we look at what other people have or what other people are doing, it just puts us in a lower frequency. It's not beneficial. We can look at other people and think whatever the fuck we want, but half the time we don't have a clue. And what's going on between closed doors is not what's presented in front of us, especially if we look at their social media. You know, no one posts pictures when they're sad, Ugh, right? Everybody only posts those pictures when they're really happy, but it's not a reflection of their life at all. And those people, we're not talking about that, but it's just keeping your eyes on the prize, right? Which is you, your happiness, your golden city, your treasure, um, whatever that energy is, stop giving the power to Oz, right? In the Wizard of Oz, they go down the yellow brick road, they go to that golden city, and they're giving all this power to this little motherfucker who's like this small. He ain't shit. The power is within yourself. And this is just focusing on the positive and turning negative into positives and focusing on you and what it is that you want. All right. So that's what we got there. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, <laughs> there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome... How you doing in a month? How's this investment going? I really feel like it's just this investment in you. Um, and you are the best investment, <laughs> right? What else we got? We're Sagittarius in a month. What's the potential outcome? What do you want to say here? What do we got? We got the, yeah, look at this. Uncharted territories. Eight of wands, two of wands. All right, all right. What else we got? We got the five of swords. What's with that five of swords? That tells us what we need to know. Page of wands. Judgment in reverse. The lovers, yeah. The lovers is a life-changing choice, but it's a choice to choose yourself. That's what the lovers is, is an inner, ethical, moral, inner compass decision, right? The judgment is about making a choice um, that's going to have a huge, profound effect on your life. But the lovers is about making a choice where you're doing what's best for you. You're going into uncharted territories. That's what the eight of wands is. It's moving into a different direction. There is some kind of message here. We're going to talk about it. But these wands are suspended in the air. Where you are, where you've been, where you're going. Totally different directions, baby. Look at him, look at here, look at here, look at here, look at here. He's looking back, looking forth. But really, in reality, the two of wands is the card of planning. It's the card of looking forward. It's the card of making things happen, taking action towards your goals, dreams, aspirations. Um, and we're gonna, I'm going to clarify the page of wands. There's a message coming here. I'm wondering what this... The five of swords is an energy of turning your back on a situation that doesn't serve you. Judgment in reverse with that five of swords represents letting go of... Um, could be expectations of other people, expectations of yourself. It's really about being objective and turning your back on situations that don't serve you. Let's find out why it's there. What is this message? What's the page of wands? What's this message coming through here for Saj, right? What do they need to know about it? What is this energy? What do you want to say? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Dev. Queen of wands in reverse. Ten of wands in reverse. Like seven of pentacles. In oh, okay. Um, the three of pentacles. So... feel like it's the end of stress it's like the death is a is well it's death <laughs> it's a very difficult transition now we can focus on the ending we can focus on the negative or we can focus on the positive and understand that life is all filled with chapters transitions endings new beginnings um i feel but uh, what i feel actually is with death with the queen of wands here with the set ten of wands i feel like it's the end of um like the queen of wands in reverse, first of all, with that envy, it's, it's a, and it's an ends of looking at other people. It's an ends of reacting. It's an energy of, you know, pausing, reflecting before reacting to anything because reacting and making decisions in a reactive energy doesn't serve us. And being that we're saggy, we can be very fiery. We can be very reactive. Um, and it's an end of that energy. It's an end of that stress, that worries, those anxieties. The seven of pentacles in reverse tells us that, you know, it's a waste of time. When we come from a place of emotion, this is talking about when we're making decisions, when we're coming from a reactive place and an emotional place and we're making decisions, we kind of sometimes make decisions we don't agree with when we're not in that emotional reactive state. I actually think this page of wands is a download from you, from your spirit team, from your spirit realm, from the astral realm, from your dreams. Um, and I feel like it's, it's reminding you to turn your back on the past energy. Maybe there was some criticism. I feel like it's a little bit of self-criticism. You could have been a perfectionist here, Saj. Maybe you're too hard on yourself, expecting too much from yourself. Um, and this is just going with the flow, going with the river, being the water, and ending that harsh judgment on yourself. Because all that does is put a bunch of unnecessary pressure on yourself, 
and then you never accomplish what it is that you want and you're just disappointed, right? So I feel like it's it's like a download from the spirit team, from the spirit realm, letting you know because the three of pentacles is balance, it's collaboration and it's teamwork, but I, I just feel like it's teamwork within yourself. It's giving yourself the recognition you deserve. Pat yourself on the back, applaud yourself, celebrate the little baby steps, the milestones, those things within yourself and be realistic about what it is that you want because you can't live life forever other people, but you can't be too hard on yourself and never appreciate the successes and the milestones that you have. So you're coming into a very successful cycle. You're going into uncharted territories, places you've never been. You're planning your hard work. That energy is paying off. I feel like your spirit team is guiding you, watching you. You're turning your back on the things that don't serve you. And I just feel like for you, it's that energy of being too hard on yourself. So Saj, that's what you need to know right now. Abundance is yours. Independence is yours. Those difficult times, they turned you into the empress, baby. And the empress makes things happen. So Saji, that is your destiny. That's what's up. That's what's going on. If you like my style, if you like your reading, <laughs> we got the tower, big changes. I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe, Sag. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you. I always appreciate your support. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Spirit guides, yes or no, what's the answer for Sage? The answer is yes. That's what I got, Sage. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.